Sandy. Today we are going to talk about sunscreen. Specifically today we're going to talk about color science. I had heard so many positive things about color science and their SPF sunscreen products that I really wanted to try them. And if you've been following me, you know this, or maybe if you're new, you don't know this, but back in April, I had a little bit of a scare. I get checked every single year because of my stupidity when I was younger and I had a freckle removed and you can see my lovely scar from it. That was an atypical, that scared me and now I live in Florida. So even though sunscreen, using sunscreen, I was really, um, I, I would always use sunscreen as an adult, but like as I was younger, I didn't. I've stepped up my game since living here. So I reached out to Color Science and I said, I've heard so many things about your, your products. I would love to try some of them. And they graciously sent them to me. This is not a sponsor post. I would have paid for these products myself, but I wanted to try out several of them for you so I can share with you. Um, and I'm just a, a small little channel, so I don't get a lot of things sent to me. I pay for everything pretty much myself. I do, I've had a couple things sent to me, but not a lot, girl. Um, so that is what we're gonna talk about today. Just a disclaimer before we start, again, this is not sponsored. I'm always upfront and honest. Whether a company sends me a product or not, doesn't mean I'm gonna give it a good review. If you've been following me, you know that. I've had uh, companies reach out to me, send me a product, and I don't always give them a good review if I don't like it. It's my opinion. Your opinion might be different than mine, and that is okay. The thing is, I wanna tell you is, as I'm going along, I'm gonna pop up a video on me actually using the product because I wanted you to see me apply some of this before because some of it's sunscreen on my face. So I wanted you to see me putting my sunscreen on and some of the other things that I'm gonna talk about. First one is the Total Eye. It comes like this and you will see me demonstrate how to use this and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it as you're looking at that. So this is a three in one eye renewal therapy. It has a broad spectrum SPF of 35. It contains jojoba esters, which resembles skin's natural sebum and acts as a moisturizer barrier for the skin, which is excellent. And it also contains, and I'm gonna butcher this name so I may pop this up in there, yeah, you know, we're just gonna put it up there. So it contains a peptide. This is the peptide, which produces collagen, which helps strengthen skin and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So with this cream, it's gonna protect you with an SPF. It's going to correct dark circles and it's gonna treat you long-term for lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness. So I've been using it for four weeks now and I really am enjoying this a lot. Now I have had several of you ladies reach out to me and say, what can I use for a sunscreen near my eyes because everything that I use seems to irritate my eyes and burn my eyes. I would definitely recommend this because this is actually meant for to use near your eyes. So I definitely would recommend this. And as you can see in the video, what's so nice about this is that you can, it color corrects it right away. So when you put this on, you're, you're color correcting your eyes. So if you have that dark circle under your eyes, this is gonna help color correct it. You saw the way that I applied it. You can, if you are younger than me, use this because I love the way they designed it and just kinda, you know, really gently do this and apply it. I can't do that. I tried doing it even with the lightest bit. I just, my skin moves around there, so I just can't do that. So what I do is I apply it. Half a pump is all that you need, as you saw in the video there. I take my ring finger and then I just go ahead and I blend it out and then blend the other side out as well. Some of you may only need to use this and not even use an under eye concealer. It might be enough for you. For me, I let this sit in for a while you know, while, while my other sunscreen, which we'll talk about in a, in a minute, um, I let that sit on for a little bit and then I will still use my um, under eye concealer. I just feel like I still need that because it, it is a little bit of an orangey-ish cast to it. I feel like I've tried doing it, but I always feel like I can see that. I just wanted to let you know. Some people can use this and not have to use a concealer, which is great, but I still use a concealer on top, but I love that it's helping to protect 
under my eyes. Love this product. This sunscreen. And I'm gonna tell you right now, before you even, you know, keep going, I really like everything that I've used. Not like, I love everything that I use, and I would pay for all this. So next time, I'm gonna pay for all of this. And you will see it in my empties, all right? So the next one is the Sun Forgettable um, SPF 50. It's 100% mineral, water sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. So you're gonna see a demo of me using this as well. I absolutely love this product. A little bit goes a long way, as you will see. It spreads out really, really nicely. I will apply this and I'll let it sit in for 15, 20 minutes to really absorb into my skin before I use my face, prime, you know, my makeup primer and my foundation, all that. So I'll, you know, do my skincare, I'll put this on, I'll go and fix my hair, make my bed, have my breakfast, whatever, and then I'll come back and, um, you know, while this is sitting on and then I'll, I'll do my makeup. You know what I mean? I just let, let it sit on there for a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I've been using this for a month and it's still, I still have plenty of product left. So I really, really love this. It doesn't make my skin feel, um, it's not, it's not like greasy or anything like that. It's not heavy. It's light, covers really, really well. Um, my foundation and my primer and everything work beautifully with this. I love this so much. I think you will too. And I feel like it would work for any skin type. I really do. I don't find it to be drying or, or anything. So I really think that this is something that anybody can use. But one thing you have to remember with sunscreen is that just because you're putting it on your face, you you know, you can't be, that can't be it for the day. Like your, your makeup is going to wear off a little bit, especially if you're outside, you're at the beach or you're just outside walking around or whatever. Maybe you're at work inside. Your, your, where I wear off a lot is my nose, my chin, and my cheeks. That's where I usually wear off. Sometimes my forehead too. And so you wanna reapply it. You're not gonna to wanna to reapply this because you're gonna mess up all your makeup. So they have this. And this is one of the reasons I reached out to them. I really, really wanted to try this. I've heard so many good things about it. And I needed something else to, you know, just touch up my, um, sunscreen while I'm out during the day. I'm sorry. I don't script my videos. I'm just talking to you guys. You Let me just show you how it works first. So you open this up and then it looks like this. So you slide this down. What this does is helps protect the brush and then the powder comes out of here. Now what you're going to have to do, and I have to do this every time I use it, honestly, they made the whole, and I don't know what it looks like, and maybe after I use this up, I'll kind of dissect it and see what it looks like, but I'm not going to do it till I use it up but the hole in here is kind of small and maybe they have a small sifter i'm not sure but it is small so powder doesn't just come out like crazy and you waste it so this will last you a while and mine has an expiration on the bottom too mine says expires uh february of 20 so that's a long time february of 20 and i think this will last a while too i really really do because you're really just going to touch up with this so what i do when you first get it is you want to tap it i tapped it like you could either tap it like this or if you have a table with you know a little ledge you can just tap it like that um, because you want to get the powder and you just after you tap it you just apply that and i'm going to put some over my face i really don't need any but i just did my makeup but that's what i do so if you're out it's a great thing to have in your purse so you can touch up you always have to reapply this is what my dermatologist told me she said most sunscreens you have to apply every hour and a half or so. So just remember that. So not only that, really quickly, not only that do I touch up my face, but I wear a hat and some of my hats are straw hats. So you can still see through a little bit, especially on my head. So I even use this right here. I'll just take it in my part and I will apply it in my part um, because that's where I get sun as well. If you have your hair back and it's short, you can even take it and you can put it on your ears and touch it up. I love this product so much. Now we're going to talk about the, the body. And this is the Sun Forgettable Body Protection or Body Shield. It has an SPF of 50. Again, it's mineral, 100% mineral, water sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. And I've been using this 
inner pool, you know, I've been putting it on and I, I've been using the pool now, again, with sunscreen, especially if you're gonna go into water, you're gonna want that to sit on for at least 20 minutes before you go in the water because you don't want it to come off. What I love about this, I love that it's not greasy, it's not too thick either, and it does not leave a white cast on me, which I love. Some of the sunscreens that I've been using, because I've been trying a lot of different sunscreens, they, they go on so thick and then I look like I'm a ghost. Like it, I don't want to look any whiter than I am. I'm already white. So they, they leave a white cast. And then even on my fingers, I feel like it's hard to get off. So in the interior of our car, because we have a dark interior of our car, you can see my fingerprints there from the sunscreen. It drives me nuts. And that is not easy to get out. So I am loving that. So I'm going to show you. It comes like that in the tube. And I'm just going to put on a little bit here. And I always put sunscreen on my hands. What I do, I put sunscreen everywhere. <laughs> That's what I do, especially if I'm gonna be out all day. I am looking, I, I have some sunscreen shirts that I wear, but I'm looking for some other, I guess SPF shirts is what they're called. But really, whenever you're in the sun, even underneath your clothes, that sun's gonna get through and you're still gonna get sun damage even through your clothes. So just know that. And so I'm just gonna put this on, do you see that? Okay. Just from that, and I put it on my, I even get on my fingers, I got my ring on now, but yeah, I get this all over. So that's that's what I use, and look at, I get it all over, and I may put a little bit more like back here, because especially with that, I'm really funny about where that scar is. I love it, it feels great. I don't think it looks white at all. I'm gonna blend this in, now look at, I don't think this hand looks whiter than that hand. I love it. I love how it feels on my skin. It just, my skin feels really nice. But like I said, it doesn't feel greasy. It's not hard to spread. I'm really, really, really enjoying this a lot. Another thing that not all of us think about is our lips as far as sunscreen. So they have this lip gloss that I am loving, you guys. I want to order, they have a color, I think it's called Champagne. I think I want to get that next. This is the color that they sent me. That is what I'm wearing today. This is the Color Science Lip Shine 35 SPF in it, and it's water resistant even for 40 minutes. So if you're in the pool, at the beach, um, I know it's not summertime for you. I, I, where I live, it's summertime all the time. But even if you don't live somewhere where it's summer, summery all the time, even in the winter, it's still good to wear this. If you're outside, your lips are going to get chapped. They're going to be exposed to the sun. This is a must-have, I believe. I really, really love it. It has a little bit of a pepperminty um, feeling to it when you first put it on, but then it goes away. And I love it. it. Kind of reminds me of Marc Jacobs in that sense. It's really nice. It glides on really nice. It's and you'll see me put it on in the video. You'll see me put this on too, and you'll see what it looks up up close. But I really, really, really love this. So what I was doing originally is I was putting a sunscreen on my lips. Then I would put my lip liner on my lipstick, and then I would put my gloss on to protect my lips. But then as the day wears on, you want to reapply it. So then I have to reapply it and then I have to reapply everything. This is nice because I can just reapply. This is like the top gloss that, I, that I've that i been wearing over my lipstick when I'm outside. So move on over to Marc Jacobs. No, I, I still love my Marc Jacobs, but I do think it's really, really important to wear one with a sunscreen. So you will see me using this more and I'm going to order that other color, but our lips are just as important as the rest of our skin to protect it from the sun. The last thing I wanna show you is just a really fun, fun tool to have. I think it's a tool. It's a cute little kit that is a color corrector. So it comes like this. So you get all these different colors. They're powders. It's, it's a mineral powder. It has an SPF, I gotta hold it the other way. It has an SPF of 20 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So. I'm going to tell you the colors and what they do. So one lightens red tone, one corrects red tones, one corrects blue and covers brown, one corrects blue, and one corrects yellow. It comes with this little brush here. You're going to see me use it in the video above. I'm using a different brush. I'm just using like a little um, blush brush because it just works better. 
So what I like to do, as you can see in the video, I like to use it on my nose. I cannot wear a foundation on my nose because I feel like it, it just comes off really, really quickly. So I like this because it's a nice alternative. So really all that I use a foundation for, for all of my face, is just to color correct and even out my skin tone. So with this, I just use it on my nose. I just use it on my nose. I just use it on my scar. If you can handle wearing a powder under your eyes, you can even use this under your eyes to conceal under your eyes. That's what's nice about this brush for little areas like that. It's great. But if you want to do something, um, if you want to cover up your, like use it for your nose because you have some redness or whatever, then I would just use a little brush or just get a little, you know, use one from one of your blush compacts that you have or just get a little brush, you know? But I really have been enjoying this and I like the packaging on it. I like how little and compact it is so you can take it with you if you need to touch up your nose during the way. They, you can um, you can take this with you because this is a color corrector. This is a sunscreen. So you're not going to get a color with this. This is going to correct it. So um, that is it, guys. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Sunscreen is really important. Like I said, I'm a big advocate for it because of my stupidity when I was younger. So now I'm like really on top of it here. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried any of these um, products before, what you think of them. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And that is it. Thank you again. I will see you guys real soon. Bye.